Yes, thank you, Kara. With Election Day coming up, we want to dig a little bit deeper and offer some perspective on last night's debate. So joining me this morning to recap the event, UNT political science professor from the University of North Texas, Kimmy King. Thank you for waking up early with us this morning. Betcha. Uh, one thing we noticed last night, this debate very different from the first. You saw debate moderator Kristen Welker, who I think should be running for office, keep things relaxed. How much did that changed tone help the candidates? It changed completely, and we can't really attribute it only to the microphone and the ability to mute it. The fact is that her coverage of the Trump White House served her well for being able to manage both the president and the vice president when they were kind of pushing the envelope on behavior. Who needed to impress voters more last night, Trump or Biden? No, it was very clear that President Trump needed to come back from where he was after the first debate. Most people, even his supporters, were very critical of that performance. And I think that this morning you're going to hear both sides saying that we did what we needed to do, regardless of what might well, yeah, be said about who I was the stronger performer. Matter. Earlier this week, we ran a poll on Daybreak. 98% of those who weighed in said they have already made up their mind. What are the biggest questions still left unanswered for those who haven't? I think that it fundamentally comes down to the direction that you want the country to take and waiting to hear something from that candidate that makes you feel like this is it, it cinched it for me. But it is very striking that so many people have already made up their minds. Remember that coming up on October 26th in 2016, compared to today, uh, Clinton was polling at about 47 percent and President Trump at 38 percent. And so we had a much larger range of people that still seemed to be a little bit more undecided. So we'll have to watch closely. Watch the voter turnout. This is something that is very critically different from 2016. Well, you mentioned voter turnout. Record voters have already cast their ballots. So will last night even make a difference when so many of those ballots are already in the box? <laughs> so the thing is that, yes, it will, because we are heading into that tense period when we're not sure what's going to happen in the run up to November 3rd. So the more people that we have the votes in and done can potentially make a difference if there is volatility come election day. Overall, it is striking, and I took a poll of my students, and by three to one, they have already voted. That is very unusual when I look back over time. Well, no question, big numbers this year. Thank you for waking up with us early, Professor King. You bet.